Okay, so now let's try our multivariate regression using all three uh, predictors, the energy balance model simulation, uh, El Nino, and the NAO. Uh, so we go to regression model, and we select, uh, with the right click of the mouse here, we can select all three quantities at once. So we've got the EBM simulation, El Nino, and the NAO, and we're trying to predict, uh, sorry, temperature. We run the regression, and we can see that we now explain nearly 80% of the variation in that temperature series. We went from just under 72% to now essentially 80% of the variation using those three predictors. Um, and that's, that's about as uh, good as you can expect to do um, in a simple multivariate regression of this sort to explain uh, four-fifths of the total variation in the data. Uh, we can see that the autocorrelation coefficient is small. It's not going to be statistically significant. We don't have to worry about autocorrelation of the residuals, which is nice. So let's now uh, go back to the plot settings, and we're going to plot our model simulation uh, result, our multivariate regression uh, result, that is, which includes uh, the energy balance simulation, El Nino, and NAO, those two internal factors. Scroll down to model output, <coughs> and there you can see it. Um, the red curve is our statistical model based on the three predictors that we've used. The blue curve is the actual temperature series, and we've explained a fairly impressive amount of variation in the data. Um, we can see the effect of uh, volcanic eruptions and some of the short-term coolings that are seen in the record. Um, and then a lot of the other interannual fluctuations are at least partly explained by the NAO and uh, El Nino. If we like, we can recover the regression coefficients um, in our multivariate regression, the constant term, the term multiplying the energy balance model simulation, the term uh, multiplying the El Nino series, and the term multiplying the NAO series. And that sum of terms is our statistical model, and it does quite well in this particular case. Uh, finally, we can take a look at the residuals, uh, what's left over that wasn't explained by our multivariate regression. And that's what's shown with the green curve. Um, uh, there's some variability, of course, that's left over. Um, that isn't explained by the factors we've considered. Uh, but there isn't a whole lot of structure. Um, in that time series, suggesting that uh, the results of this multivariate regression uh, are probably uh, meaningful and are telling us something about the underlying factors that explain uh, long-term variations and year-to-year -year variations and decadal variations in northern hemisphere land temperatures over time.